here's something really important that every player that plays Grand Theft Auto Online needs to know about with the recent update. It looks like here I'm reading on Tez2's post from Twitter that the fact that they have just finally enabled the personal vehicle selling to where it's actually buffed even more. So it looks like after selling a personal vehicle, you're not going to be able to get that personal vehicle price until 18 hours after selling that vehicle to where potentially what's going to happen here is since they've already changed a whole bunch of things with the daily sell limit and uh, I would just say the implication of this new system that they put in to where we're only basically able to sell one car a day now that's about the limit to where we are at because what's going to happen here if we're trying to sell multiple cars in a single day is the value of those cars so if you're somebody out there that likes to duplicate cars potentially and that's your main source of money well now is the time to probably start looking for a different source of money because we're going to be getting hammered pretty bad here with uh the only selling one car a day even though if you did have a deluxo and a whole bunch of deluxos or something like that you're still getting like what 2.8 million dollars every single day so yeah the changes have happened and they have been implemented into the game i don't know if you've been affected by this or if you have noticed this yet so not only just the daily sell to where we're not able to sell potentially as many cars per day now it's definitely been enabled at this time to where personal vehicle selling is going to get basically hit to where we're not able to sell a lot of vehicles in a day without getting a lot of profit back so basically what this means is what it comes down to, what it all boils about is the fact that, you know, selling cars in GTA, which is something that I've been doing for the last 10 and a half years, duplicating cars and selling the duplicated copies, right? And then from there, like what, Issy's are worth one point, about $8 million. I think Deluxo's not upgraded are worth about $2.8 million. And those are about the only two vehicles that you really want to be, you know, I would say duplicating and or doing the frozen money. I don't know if this is necessarily affects the frozen money. Um, necessarily because that is like a refund glitch so potentially yes I'm pretty sure it's going to affect that too um, although I've already had some friends do some testing with this to where yep everybody is getting hit right now with either daily sell limits or the fact that they're getting hit with price values for trying to sell vehicles absolutely reduced in a major way here to where we're not able to sell as many cars in a day and then also the amount of cars is just basically right now i mean literally it's been reduced down to like one car per day so you know we really got to be out there potentially finding other ways of making money number one we could actually be playing the game and running some of our businesses like the nightclub or the bunker and or acid lab and things like that you just pay for you know the stock and then these places the only thing you have to really do in the game is just do sell missions to make the millions of dollars and we still got kyle perico yeah it's been uh buffed nerfed whatever but that's still a viable way of making some easy money, especially if you know how to like speed run all the setups and everything like that to actually get to the island. And from that, you know, also we have the replay glitches, which uh, are still working in the game, I believe. Although you have to restart your catch after you guys do it a couple times. Otherwise, you're going to end up losing your Kayo. You're going to lose your Bogdan or something like that. Nobody wants to go through a big, long setup just because they accidentally messed, uh, messed up on either the restarting part or just not doing, like, you know, restarting their catch in the game. So, yeah, this is a big hit, not just for cheaters out there, people that like to do, you know, car duplicating, potentially people that are trying to make modded accounts and either sell them or something like that. But it also is, a, you know, it's going to majorly affect the normal player as well, which is why this video is going to be, you know, for, for all players. It's going to affect every single player in Grand Theft Auto, the fact that they have implemented these changes into the game. Uh, you know, so I would just say if you guys really want to be on the safe side and you want to get all your cash It's only like one vehicle a day and if you want to be making money potentially go out there and start You know running some of your businesses because Grand Theft Auto these days in 2024 is a lot different than how it was ten and a half years ago when all we had was rooftop rumble and Maybe survival missions or something like that to make money and that was only like thirty thousand dollars a pop so you can imagine that now today, since we have all these businesses, it actually is fairly easy to make a lot of money, millions of dollars, legitly, every single day in the game. 
I make plenty of videos talking about that and have proved that potentially with a little bit of grinding. Yes, you can become super rich in GTA just by running some of your businesses like the ones that I named off before. And then also, yep, uh, unfortunately, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about these changes that Rockstar has made. And is this worrisome for GTA 6? Is GTA 6 already in jeopardy from things that they're gonna be implementing already in like 10 and a half years later you know like we've been duplicating cars for about 10 and a half years and selling them for money whether it be a frozen money or a car duplication glitch or something like that it's been a major way for a big chunk of the community to you know uh, i would say make money so they don't have to buy shark cards so this potentially in, in my in my mind and, and like how i see it is Rockstars is potentially getting more greedy to where they're just trying to make people buy shark cards Although the smart people are never gonna buy shark cards the smart people will figure out ways of making money Regardless of not purchasing a shark card or not because like you know Besides the fact of the matter, but anyways from there you guys are gonna have to let me know what your thoughts are on this subject Down in the comment sections below and if you enjoyed this video I didn't enjoy making it because this is uh, this is pretty bad and this could mean some pretty bad things Potentially for GTA 6 is the same type of rules are gonna be transferring from this game on over to that game Which I can imagine that's not gonna make a lot of players happy Especially in the very beginning of the game when everybody's gonna be struggling probably to try to make those millions of dollars but who knows because the game's not even out yet But anyways from there, I hope everyone is doing good and having an awesome rest of the day Thank you all for joining in and supporting the channel That means a whole bunch to me and we got plenty of other videos on the channel for you guys to go ahead and check out and enjoy You should just go ahead and thumb through some of those We also got some pretty funny shorts and uh, hey, yeah You might want to think about following me on Twitter while we're talking about all this stuff right there But once again, you guys should subscribe to the channel if you are new so you don't miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto 5 online videos But from there once again, thank you all for watching. My name is Grapesite, and I will see you in the next one. So, peace!